Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your kernel security check error, the blue screen of that for Windows. And this error is mostly caused due to corrupted system files, drivers, or user related problems, even USB. So, first of all, I'm going to show you three ways to fix it. You don't have to try them all, but these three ways worked for me, so I hope it works for you first of all we have to run system file checker which we can run from command prompt but to run it we need to give it admin privileges so open cmd and run it as admin in here you have to type sfc forward slash scan now so you just give the computer the command to scan for system files and check if any system file is causing the problem. It takes some 5 to 10 minutes to complete and after completion it will just ask you to reboot your system for changes to take effect. The second way is to check by using the driver verifier which is pre-installed in Windows you can access it by going to windows home screen now typing verifier you will see verifier exe click it and choose the first option next then again choose the first option and it will scan all the unassigned drivers unassigned drivers for you to just wait and after it's done scanning it will show you the unverified drivers and now you can go to device manager and check about these drivers so first we will open device manager by pressing windows key plus R and then you have to type devmgmt dot msc it will open device manager and now you can check the device which is causing problem okay. Okay. so i found it uh, manicam virtual and now you can go to drivers tab and you can choose to either roll back if available or update or even disable or uninstall for me i will uninstall and it will ask you to restart your computer now so as for me and the last way is to install all the pending updates that you have in windows 8 you uh, you can access pc settings where you will find all this updates option in here change pc settings and here you have to go into update or recovery see i have a pending update i can choose to install or this that's it so thanks for watching and if you still have any doubts you can type in them in the comment section below and i will try my best to help you